Early one morning, Henry was taking the flying kipper, a goods train filled with fish. The train stops at every station, dropping off boxes of fish loaded into lorries and taken into the local shops. Henry was making good time, and he slowed down at, to stop at Kelsthorpe. When the men got to work unloading the fish, he noticed something on the line. It was still a bit dark, so he couldn't make out what it was. What on earth is that? Come on, Henry, off we go. Wait, there's something on the line. He's right, Simon. Something on the line, Henry. Yes, but I can't see what it is. Right then. Come on, Daniel. Let's have a look. The crew went to uh, go inspect the unknown object, and they were very surprised. Well, I'll be. What? What is it? It's a cat, Henry. Yeah, there's no coal on her, and she seems pretty healthy. What are we going to do? We can't just leave her here. You're right there, old boy. Hold on. The fireman went to go talk to the station master. He came back with a big box with some old newspapers in it. We'll put the cat into the box and she can ride into the brake van with a guard. How do you know if it's a girl? I felt kicks inside her stomach. This one's pregnant and I think she'll be having kittens soon. My sister is a vet, so I will be taking the cat there to be checked. Who knows, she could be giving birth any day now. Sounds like a plan, but right now, let's get going. Oh, I feel like we're running late. So the fireman put the cat in the brake van, and Henry quickly hurried up to make up for lost time. He finished his job at dawn, and all the other engines were asleep. What's that noise? Some of us are trying to sleep. Ugh, I don't know. Henry just came back from pulling the kipper. Ask him. Henry, are you making that noise? I don't think engines can make a sound like that. Do you need oiling or something? I'm not making any noises, Gordon. Well, what is it then? It sounds like a cat to me. You're right, Molly. It is a cat. I found her when I was taking the flying kipper and my fireman's taking her to the vet. Is there anything wrong with the wee thing? She's heavily pregnant, and me and my crew don't know who she belongs to. Maybe you can ask people around where you're taking your passenger trains. Good idea, Douglas. I think I'll do that. When the other engines headed off for work, Henry waited in the shed until his crew came back from the local afternoon train. Any luck finding the cat's owner, Henry? No, I'm worried we'll never find her owner. But I still care for this cat. She's my friend. Poh! First trees, now animals. Whatever next, Henry? Now you listen to me, Gordon. Cats are important in everyday life, so don't! Suddenly, the engines could hear tiny squeals. It isn't... it's... it's in time, is it? The kittens are being born, aren't they? When the crew looked inside Henry's cab, they could see a little newborn kitten being cleaned by her mother. Well, I never... Throughout the evening, the crew and engines watched, waited, and listened for the kittens being bored, until the cat got up and gave birth to a sixth kitten. There was a problem. Oh no. Oh no. No! What's wrong? This one's not breathing. Uh, do something! So the driver wrapped up the kitten in a blanket and cupped the newborn, hoping to keep it alive. Come on, come on, don't die now, little fella, you've just started your life. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Yes, the youngest was going to be alright. Good job, boys, six happy kittens born. Thank goodness.
I guess we got a good name for the girl. It's Lucky. Lucky. I like that. Ah, oh, yes. I see you're hungry. Let's go say hello to your mother. The driver put Lucky into a box with her mother. You know what, Henry? You were right. It seems a cat is important after all. 